Jimmy K here, Metal Voice. Look at this. The Metal Voice shirts are now on sale. Just go to the video description to find out on how you can purchase one. Metal! Welcome to the Metal Voice. Today on the show, Alan, who do we have, Alan? Hey, it's been too long since we've had Mark on. The voice, the voice himself, Mark Storacci of Crocus fame, of course. You know Thank what, you, you know, guys, I was just going through everything I have that's Crocus. And, uh, you know, I was just going through everything. And, uh, you know, just listening to everything just to remember, you know, what a big fan I was and have oh. been. And it's still going. It's still going. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah, yeah. Holy. Hey, and the quality, Jim, the quality of the video is much better than the last time we had Mark on. It was the early days of Skype. We're going yeah, back probably yeah, yeah, 10 yeah. years now. And it was yeah, very grainy. Yeah. And I'm glad oh, that the yeah. technology caught up to us. So. Well, me and it's Mark cool. had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just turned me on to it. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, you know, Thank you so much for jumping on today. You know, for me and Alan, you know, you're sort of, uh, I don't know what the, how do, how do we phrase this, Alan? This is somebody legend. we always loved. Legend, legend. Legend. That's what it is. It's legend. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, you know, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess we could start off. There's a solo album. I mean, can you talk about that? Can you tell us about what's going on there? I can only tell you what I know. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll help. <laughs> and, uh, right, well, if you right don't now, know, who does? You want to know, should I start at the beginning? But it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as long as you got, I don't know, uh, you whatever know, you want to do. I mean, 20 years ago, <laughs> <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote the title song of the album, Live and Let Live. You know, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. Wow. I'll do what you did. And? <laughs> there we go. That's cool. All right. Back to the list. See, this is, these are all, I painted all these. So these are going to be a part of the backdrop and the album title, but they're going to be slightly bigger for the stage, you know? I should hope so. <laughs> And You'll have a spinal tap situation. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> the pyramids. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Uh, yo, so "Live and Let Live" was written uh, with a, this guitar player who is a neighbor of mine. Was a neighbor of mine, and I used to go over to his place, little studio, cold or rainy days and icy days and we spent hours writing songs and came out with about 20 of them and this is one of them which fits for the album and it's the opener it's going to be the live opener live and let live there you go See, you know it's a great great song uh with a it's it's quite a good opener you know not headhunter. I'm not <laughs> trying to not trying to be like Crocus at all, you know. But anyway, so many years later, I uh, we reun uh, did the reunion, and I've been busy with Crocus. And uh, <clears throat> as soon as lockdown started, um, I first did some stuff which I put on YouTube and Facebook, uh, some karaoke stuff which I found and did duets with my daughter, Juliana, my sweet. She's now, uh, you know, oops, something came in. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, then I went on um, as after that phase with Juliana. Uh, I kind of fell in a hole of the lockdown boredom, you know, and I thought, no way. I'm going to get creative. I opened my drawer, you know, a pile of lyrics, you know, bits and pieces, leftovers, new stuff. And, uh, and I thought, well, I've got enough material and I need a guitar player. So I, um, this guy, I got in touch with, he's in Newcastle in England. We started communicating about ideas. He'd send me ideas and I'd send him feedback and I'd, fit lyrics and build songs and stuff and so we built quite a few you know and 
And then, so I already went in contact with a couple of musicians whom I got to know whilst doing uh, this, this big uh, event, um, film series for, for television uh, in 2019. And this, this thing came out during lockdown. But what I was saying uh, last year, while we were filming this, I, I, I also started thinking, well, we're on a um, farewell tour and I don't really want to stop, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, and this thing came out. During this, this, this contest, right, is everybody sings each other's songs. Is that what it was? Exactly. Oh, it, was, yeah. it was a show. That's, that's right. That's it. I could, who sang Headhunter? Who sang Headhunter? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> what, what, what crocus song did they sing? Like from you? Uh, I said Bedside Radio and Who oh. the Woman. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who the Woman was done by Francine Yordi, and uh, she's like from the chanson thing, and and she said Who the Woman? Who do Who the Woman? Who do I say? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, so this this thing came out, you know, which helped reduce the boredom. And and in be, in between, I was writing songs, and then I got to know these two other guys, the drummer and, and rhythm guitarist, and they also produced the whole music side of. Sing my song. It's called Sing My Song. Sing my Sing my song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, and they asked me during the uh the the filming stuff, you know, in between, yeah, we you should do a solo album now. It's it's gonna be over with Crocus. What you gonna do? I said, oh, well, I don't know yet. It's not over until it's over. <laughs> And I'm still enjoying it. So I, I'm not thinking that far, the, taking it, you know, carpe diem, you know, day by day, because <laughs> uh, you never know what tomorrow brings. And too much planning, sometimes uh, you do it for nothing too much. Overthinking is unhealthy anyway. <laughs> so anyway, uh, ah, I came to that point and then I called them. I said, guys, you want to do it because I really enjoyed working for you with you, you know. Especially, I realized when I took the songs from up, the other guys and wanted to make them to fit to my style, or not even not hundred percent, you know, but at least a couple of them. Um, there was one song called "Devil on Your Shoulder," so I picked that one up and I thought I can, you know, rock that one up, and with their help. You know, it, it was really good to, it came out really good. And so we started and at the beginning of, uh, at the end of last year, they already sent me two, two ideas and beginning of this year, they sent me some more and I was, got busy working, working and we did demos and stuff. And, and here we are, it's ready. It's all recorded and it's in the mix and, uh, I, I wrote down the names of the guys who you played on it. Uh, I mean, okay. So describe the musical direction on this. Is this metal? This is, is this another headhunter? Is this a blitz? What is this? None, none of it all. None, none of the above. Yeah. Well, what is it? Uh, what, what completely is it? new. It's kind of a, it's, it's energetic, heavy, melodic, hard rock. And uh, there's also also a couple of ballads. You know, I'm a singer. We love ballads. And uh, then there's something out of the ordinary. It's a, a blues song, which is uh, not the typical blues song, which mm -hmm. is like something I saw as a challenge. When they sent me that, that music, I thought, what? You know, it doesn't really fit. But then I thought... <laughs> Blues is always within, inside the rock family. You know, it's part of the, the rock. Uh, the, a, a body of rock always has blues in there, you know, as opposed to jazz, maybe, you know, although that's also integrated sometimes. But, um, and then there's this one 
song, I think it's going to be the last one on the on the album, which is uh, quite acoustical, you know, and more lighthearted and paradise, you know, time just flies under a midnight sun, you know, it's great, great stuff. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I'm saying it's great because I've worked for it and I'm <laughs> emotionally involved with it, uh, but People around us and around me have been telling me I'm on the right track and it's uh, the results are good. So now I'm still, you know, nervous and excited for the release date. You know, 8th of December, we're doing the oh. first oh, great first gig in, in, in the mascot in Zurich. The first gig. Scorpions. Yeah. You're opening up for the Scorpions, right? Yeah, but that's next year. Oh yeah, yeah! I'm so happy about that. Wow! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, do you have a previous relationship with, ship with them that made it easier, or was it? Uh... Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, Scorpions and I go back to uh, the days when they produced uh, some of their their early works. You know, rock me like a hurricane um, with Dieter Dirks in Col Cologne, Germany. And in those days, I was with the band T, T E A, a progressive rock band, melodic and heavy. And uh, Dieter signed us up as a kind of experimental guinea pig, you know, <laughs> <laughs> to use his new gadgets on and effects and stuff because it, it fit, fitted more to our music than maybe other bands and stuff but anyway it was an experience and it was like uh, uh, my first big step into the professional world you know where you write songs do demos go record the stuff and go on tour you know the whole circle and we did that we kept it going for for like seven years you know but then we got the seven year itch and <laughs> <That's> <laughs> everyone <it>. went his, <laughs> his own way <laughs> Yeah. So, so, so there's still, that. So, did you ever actually were you in the studio with the Scorpions at the same time? Is that is that where the connection is? Yeah. Well, you know, we were there recording, and sometimes they drop in to say hi from Köln, I guess, or wherever. And and so we met, or maybe they had a meeting with Dieter about something else, and and then we later on met. I think it was the last tea tour. This was in London. Uh, we were on the road with our truck and bus, and they were going the, the same way, I guess. So we met on an autobahn, on an autobahn restaurant, you know, <laughs> and a freeway restaurant. And so we exchanged, uh, you know, hey, long time no see fancy meeting you here in the middle of nowhere oh, on freeway in england you know <laughs> and uh, so th there was a, a relationship and we opened for them and uh, i also opened for them with crocus uh, a couple of times and i met them later on when i did uh, an album called blue and uh, klaus Meiner, well all of them really they thought they said uh, that cover you did of, uh, you know, Percy Sledge, when a man loves a, wo a woman, mm -hmm. wow, that, that's, uh, they really liked it and said, you know, it's going to take me places. But then the whole, the whole project landed, uh, took a bad turning for, uh, yeah, you know, business 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 <laughs> yeah. wrong business uh, decisions and stuff and and i mean you know how it is uh, uh, an album even back then has a limited time and after that you know you can scratch it but then there was a re-release um later on by um sony no by bmg uh, about seven years later and uh, we put the band back together. This is Vic Verja and myself. Mm -hmm. uh, we wrote the bulk of the songs together. And uh, we were produced by uh, Robert Popst in Munich. So, and we did a tour and it didn't have the expected results. So we went our ways and then 
<laughs> came a Crocus reunion, you know, life goes on. But, but okay. I'm looking forward to, to playing with the Scorpions. I really <laughs> love their music. I, so it's I Storacci. That. It's Storacci that's playing with the Scorpions. That's just everybody clear. It's the Storacci band, right? Storacci. Storacci. Hey. Storacci. Do you say do you say Versace or Versace? I don't know. <laughs> what should I say? You don't know. Okay, do you say Liberace? Liberace. Liberace. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, Liberace. that's the other See, side agree. of the pond. So, yeah. so I don't. I got it all confused. In USA, it's 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 uh, Storace. I know. Storace. 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 That's that's the right uh, pronunciation. The voice. It's it's an Italian name, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So so okay. So the Scorpions have been retiring now for the last ten yeah. years. Yeah. <laughs> Is this going to be the same thing with Crocus? Like, okay, everybody has this trend. They're always retiring, right? And and I yeah, get it. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to leave the stage. I get it. You know, but yeah. I apparently it's quite serious with with Crocus. Uh, at, actually with with some members anyway and you know i'm not one of those <laughs> and uh i think chris uh isn't one of them either chris von Rohr would would uh, like to first of all we owe still we owe uh the other side of the pond a tour yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And we, we had to do uh, Mexico as well, which we'd love to do in Canada. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I hope we can do it. Now that I've been working on my solo stuff, I'm going to do a load of gigs here. And uh, the USA is calling for a few gigs as well. Nice. So if I don't come over with Crocus, I'm going to be over by myself, maybe by next autumn. And hopefully then Crocus will, will follow suit in 2023, you know, would be nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so, and I'll still have a voice because I'm not going to stop, you know. <laughs> hopefully. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what about the documentary? Crocus has a documentary. What stage are you at? Uh, well, it's my documentary. Oh, it's your documentary. Oh, okay. It's about my, me. And of Stora course, Chi. Cro Crocus would come. Che. Che. I remember still can't che, do it. All you have to do is remember Che Guevara. All yeah. right. Stora Che. che. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I've got this uh, um, documentary I'm working on. We're so far behind unfortunately due to COVID because mm -hmm. the idea was to go to, down to Malta and uh, do a few interviews there, maybe get 10 minutes coverage, you know, and then go to London, you know, go follow my, my old footsteps, you know, and meet a couple of people, yeah, maybe from Easy Money or whatever. The band I had in London, we did the pub rounds, in those days and that was just before i joined, joined crocus and then obviously come to switzerland and do the whole thing like the tea thing and the crocus thing and and then you know maybe go to a couple of spots in europe and come over the, the big pond and go to a couple of spots there and do some filming and tell some stories there you know maybe have some guests and make it as interesting uh, that that I can do it um, through all the people that who are still alive that I I can uh, invite to talk you know and be make a part of it to make it interesting you know and so that we're in a stage where we're going to Malta now on the first November for four days. And we'll film on the second and third. It's going to be jam-packed, you know, full schedule. And we can rest where we can fly back home. <laughs> and that, that's where we, we're at right now. And do you have a release date? Like, do you have a goal? Like, it's going nope. to come out by 2022? No? We did, but we abandoned it. Because in the meantime now, Sepp, Sepp Sutter, He's the director, and uh, he learned his ropes in Munich, working working there, 
for mm -hmm. a long time. And now he's retired and he said he only wants to do stuff which he would love to do. And he approached me. It was his idea. And, uh, and I, I said, yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> And we had a, a, a schedule, we had a, a goal, and it all, you know, <laughs> fell down with COVID. Yeah. And in the meantime, he got involved in, in my solo project, and he already, already did the, the first, first trailer, which, which is on with the intro of uh, Live and Let Live on it. Mm -hmm. So that was a help, you know, coming soon and did a great job there. And a couple of days ago, we did the first video, which is a video of Live and Let Live. Okay. You know. Hey, good. So he's he's coming. Is that like a, it's not like a James Bond thing, is it? Live and Let Live? No, nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> live and let live. <laughs> Paul McCartney. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Great song. Yeah. 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 Great song. Wow. No, and, and then there's what, what's the new one called? Uh, live, uh, don't say. Die, die and live tomorrow. Uh, never say. <laughs> it's always never, something like that. Never say die. Live on. <laughs> live and let live. Well, that opens many discussions, live and let yeah, live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the, the new album, uh, Mark, is it uh, is a worldwide release where we'll be able to get it in North America? Yeah. Uh, my manager, Roly Eggley, um, you want to know some background on Rolly? He was the, he was the drummer in T. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a connection it's there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's all and in he, the family. He's, he's yeah. very academic, you know, and, uh, you know, he knows uh, so much, so much. Um, and we still had a relationship. Uh, we started doing rock circus together, like ages, ages ago when you look back today. And now... Uh, after that, we uh, so we did this in a big circus tent, you know, rock circus, and and you you can only get squeeze a thousand people in there, but it's like a cabaret kind of rock atmosphere. People really get into it, and and now he he's uh, produced his own um, show. It's called This Is Rock. And we've got shows coming up uh, around in December. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Over New Year, we're playing. Uh, we'll have the dates up on my website as soon as possible, which is will be pretty soon. You know. I want to ask you, so what is what is the chances, like, Crocus would record another album at least if they're not going to tour? But they didn't even want to do that when they were when we were still together without any thought of splitting up. And I was always like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, I, lo I love doing the studio stuff, you know, um, the whole writing, getting getting up in the middle of the night and with an idea and you write it down and yeah, stuff like it's It's like it becomes a part of you. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe yeah, the only, the closest I got is, I was down at Chris's place in uh, Solothurn. We were doing mm -hmm. this uh, interview uh, because we're both we we both become seventy. I'm already seventy now, in on the seventh yeah. October, and he becomes seventy on the twenty second. Don't tell me it's today. It is today. Well, maybe we're, yeah. the twenty first. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> So we, we were doing this. Uh, that was that email you got before. <laughs> I, I forgot my birthday. Okay, go ahead. No, no. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we were doing this interview uh, in, um, in his living room. He's got this grand piano. And, and they said, you know, would you like, will you sit at the piano, you guys, and pretend you're doing something? <laughs> And they started slick, 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 you know, like open up beer, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Chris played a few chords, and and uh, I I started singing to it, and just the lyrics just flowed out. This ballad, and he immediately took his took his mobile phone and put it there and recorded. 
uh, a bit of it. So who knows? Maybe that's going to be a, uh, the, the spark that started the fire, you know. Who knows? <laughs> because you did. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm you did. Positive. I'm a positive thinker. But but Mark, I, I'm trying to understand, like you did, what was it? That was that Hellraiser? Which album did you record yeah. with by yourself where the other original members weren't on, right? With Chris. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah. But I took an ex, ex member. I took Mandy Meyer. You took Mandy. Really but, but I mean, how did you, like, can you not do the same thing? Can you not, I don't know. I'm just asking here. I mean, can you not just create another Crocus album the same way with Mandy or, or, Mm. or is it just not politically right to do it right now to go that every way? i mean right now anyway because we're not officially finished you know yeah right? yeah, yeah we are in in europe but um who knows what's gonna happen you know um maybe 2023 we'll be back on the monsters of rock cruise and that'll you know, light the fire and start the whole forest burning. <laughs> but, but one, you know, one thing for sure is, you know, Fernando will not, cannot, uh, for health reasons, uh, take the flight over the big pond. He doesn't want to do the big tour thing. Uh, uh, at the most, he would, you know, do the short flights we have in Europe or take yeah. the train. And and do gigs because he loves he loves playing he loves going on stage, you know, and uh, I think he will never ever sign a record contract again in his for the rest of his life. So, but there you know, I didn't you know, <laughs> for my solo thing, I'm doing doing everything with Rolly, him yeah. and I together. That's, and, it. Uh, That's it. With without the record company. You know, because, uh, well, in Switzerland, you know, they're so poppy, you know. And if you say it's like uh, heavy, melodic, hard rock, not not even heavy metal, you know, mm -hmm. hard rock. They just step away from you like you've got uh, Corona without a mask. <laughs> you know? All right. So I'm, I'm going to leave you with this, Mark. I'm on the plane. Oh, I've told Alan this before. I'm on the plane going to Switzerland. I'm probably uh, maybe 15 years old. And back in the day, they had those uh, those headphones, but they looked like the doctor stethoscope. Yeah. Remember that? I was, on, I was probably on KLM. No, not KLM. I was on uh, Swiss Air. And they had those yeah. funny headphones that you plug in. And every yeah. channel going to Switzerland was yodeling. It was every channel I turned and it yodel, yeah, yodel, really? yodel. And then, and then, yeah. crocus. Oh. <laughs> and then back to yodeling. And yodeling, yodeling, and then crocus. So it was yodeling and crocus. That's what they were offering us Canadians as we were going to Switzerland. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry. Can you believe that? Yeah. No, but but that's still popular. One no, I, I was just I was just shocked that I, I get the I get the yodeling on the plane, but then crocus uh -huh. comes on. So you guys are a national band, you know. In in, in I mean, on the airlines, they're playing crocus. <laughs> Yes. Then you put, now, now you would turn to one more, some more and more. Jim, you get Gotthard would be playing. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. But, but I'm just trying to say the magnitude of how popular Crocus was. They were playing yeah. your yeah. music on Swiss Air flight to, from Montreal to yeah. Switzerland. <laughs> Amazing, yeah. isn't it? Amazing. That's a 1980. It was probably the song was "American Woman." Actually, that's what wow. they were playing. Wonderful. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah, in the in the USA, they uh, we were used uh, the music 1984 for uh, an advert on a Volkswagen advert. Oh, okay. And one of the astronauts that went uh, up onto the moon, uh, not the first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the third time. <laughs> he had a he had a, a cassette, a cassette for. Oh, yeah. uh, Crocus songs, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. Amazing. Uh, what else? Yeah, there's a couple of things like that. And Mark, Mark, we're gonna we have to cut this short. We're gonna have to cut it, and we're gonna do a part yeah. two because we got to get back to our our work here in okay, Canada. I appreciate all the time. Thank you so much. I'm happy we got uh, the Zoom working. 
Yeah. And, uh, and, yeah, uh, me too. Thanks for turning me on. To you <laughs> got it. And, and we'll do this cool. again very soon. Yeah. On, just send me yeah, a message. Yeah, we'll closer to there. the release date. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. we'll continue so, all of this. And the, the, so the video, we'll be able to see it soon, the, the video? The video, yeah, it'll be tough. I've got it all here, but I'm, you know, it's too early to to let the cat out of the bag. It should all go in one day and the website should be ready. And uh, then the video will will hit uh, the screens and uh, I'll do more interviews and stuff like that. And, and you know, we'd like to start with a bang. And now it's like a little bit trickling water, you know. Um, and thanks a lot for talking with me. And uh, oh, all at any time, we can it's talk. It's always to you all a day. pleasure, Mark, speaking with you. And we, we can we can do another one just before the release. Absolutely, or, or right that would after. be great. Yes, you know, we open the floodgates. The water comes <laughs> rushing through. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs>